All right, guys, this isn't going to be your typical episode of Appalachian Mountain Riders today because I need to talk a little bit of shop with you. Now that it's November, the temperature is getting cold, and I'm going to have to shift things around a little bit. But what that means is I'm probably not going to get the Pioneers out as often as I would like to. And I really don't have any place to work on doing install videos or maintenance videos with these guys during the winter time. Now you're probably looking and saying, well, what's that whole great big building behind you there? But yeah, I have this nice, big and long and fairly wide carport here. The only thing with the carport is in the middle of the winter, I have this to deal with. Yeah, she is not enclosed. Needless to say, I know this from past years, it's going to get a little bit chilly in here. Now I had hoped earlier in the year that come this time fall, that I would have a nice big heated garage to be able to do projects in throughout the winter however as you can see i got the place all flattened out i even got as far as drilling some holes which has kind of collapsed in on themselves and going to have to be redrilled but that is as far as i was able to get to this year you know just so many things came up and the main thing was the wife had me working hard on getting our porch finished which it turned out pretty good, I must say so myself. But that being said, I never got around to getting my shed up this year. So I do have a thought with what to do with the carport, even though it's not sealed on the one end. Superhero leap. Look at that pose. And here's what my plans are, so I can continue to make videos throughout the winter. I still want to try to stick with my Tuesday and Thursday uploads. I don't want to have to cut down nearly once a week or so. I want to keep putting out good quality videos for you guys on a regular basis. So what my plans are here with the carport is just to kind of do a quick hillbilly garage and get a piece of plastic here and drape over this somewhere right in here where I'm standing. Maybe to get some insulation board, plug the hole back there and maybe plug around there where the storm door is clean up this mess here you know I can put the lawnmower my motorcycle is in the barn and that'll give me a pretty good work area but I'll be able then to still do stuff now once I get that all kind of sealed in a little better and get maybe a heater or two in there for a little bit of heat I do have one project I'm going to work on that you guys already know about the little 86 Honda 4 tracks. 200 SX. You remember that guy, don't you? It's probably going to take a few pulls here to get her going. That's a Honda for you. Sat for months, one point, fire right up. Well, I definitely plan on this winter tearing that guy down, restoring it, getting it back to pristine condition like I promised to do in the earlier video. I do have another project that I have in mind to work on and that I haven't really shared much with you guys yet but I do have this old leaf banger snowmobile too this old 70 it's a 78 or 79 Arctic Cat Lynx just a little leaf banger snowmobile now the nice thing with this guy is it's a little beat the the tubs kind of rusted out there's a big hole in the bottom but this thing will fire one or two pulls you know every time it'll start right up now there is something going on where i get over half throttle and it just dies so there's i think a carburetor issue with that so i got a little bit of work here on this guy that i gonna that i'm gonna plan on doing here so i can get out and do some uh little riding videos on this old leaf banger snowmobile for you for your entertainment and for my pleasure as well of course so i also want to turn to you guys as well my fellow appalachian mountain riders I need suggestions as far as what you guys want to see me do throughout these cold winter months. 
You know, I'd love to go out and buy maybe not a brand new snowmobile, but a, a nice used snowmobile for, you know, a couple grand. But I don't really have the money to go just go out and do that at this point. If only there was a site where you guys could go and pledge a couple bucks a month to help support my channel. Hmm. If only something like that existed. And I do hope that in the future I'll be able to have a big enough budget for my channel that I can go out and do stuff like that. But I can't at this point. Now I'm not complaining, mind you, and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel, that actively watch and participate, comment, give me the old thumbs up. You guys have been great. My channel growth has been fairly fast. And I really appreciate it, each and every one of you. So again, just simply comment below with suggestions, things you would like to see me do throughout these winter months. Again, I'm going to be restoring the Honda 4 tracks. I'm going to work on the old Autocat Leaf Banger snowmobile a little bit. And as always, I'm going to try to put out entertaining and informative videos for you guys without fail. Although some of those may contain some fails. Meh. I'll take you guys up here and show you where the garage was going to go. Oh, if I don't fall on my face first. If you're able to, I would really appreciate you supporting me either through my Patreon account by buying the Appalachian Mountain Riders merchandise. Christmas is right around the corner, you know. Another way you guys can support my channel that you might not even know about is I am actually a published author as well. I have one teen young adult book currently out called Wilder of the Gauntlets, which is the first book in a three book series, Armor of the Fallen. And you can pick it up on Amazon for only 99 cents. So I'll leave a link in my description below. If you have any young adults in your household or you're a young adult at heart, I encourage you to head over, check it out on Amazon, and read the reviews and see if it's a book that you'd be interested in reading. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Well, I think it's about time I get to work on ridding it up back there because I'm getting cold from just standing and sitting and I need to get moving, get the blood pumping. <sighs> So until the next video, it doesn't matter what you ride, as long as you ride. So keep on riding. Boy, I thought I was going to finally be over the sniffles enough. I didn't sound all nasally, and here I am out in the cold, and my nose is starting to run again. So, so much for that.